Aloha folks, welcome to another video. My name is Mark, Mr. Dividend Investor. In this video, we are going to look at three real estate dividend stocks that have great high dividend yield that you uh, definitely want to take a look at, put on your watch list, uh, possibly even put it on your portfolio. As always, please remember this is not a financial advice. This is just me sharing. If you are new to the channel, just wanted to say welcome, aloha. If you are new to investing and you want to learn about which companies are great to invest on, whether it is dividends, growth stocks, or penny stocks, you've come to the right channel. You definitely want to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget, don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on videos that I put out. With that said, let's take a look at these companies. First on the list is VC properties the ticker symbol is vici now this is a real estate investment trust that specializes in casino properties so as you can see in their website you have like the caesar palace you know so there is so it is a uh, real estate investment trust that owns one of the largest portfolios in market leading gaming hospitality and entertainment destinations including Caesar Palace, uh, BC Properties, National Geographic Diversity, consisting of 28 gaming facilities comprising of 47 million square feet. So you can see some of the stats, 200 plus bars and clubs. So um, I think this is a great opportunity at this time to start looking, in my opinion, at these type of real estate uh, stocks because a lot of people now are uh, wanting to get out, do some fun stocks, fun stuffs. So what better way to do than to go to these places um, and you know invest in these companies? And that's that's my opinion. So you can see from the website, you can see the a lot of the the owning parts is in Vegas. So you got one in Jack, Cincinnati, um, and then you got all these other ones in the area. Now let's take a look at tip ranks. Based on tip ranks at the time of this video, it is at $31 with the price target of $0.35.25 with a 10% upside. The 12-month forecast rated as in the high of 47, the, the average of 35, and the low of 32 with the analysis rating of strong buy based on 12 ratings. You got 10 buys and 2 holds. Now let's compare it to CNN Business and see what they think based on their price forecast. They rate it as a high of 47, the medium 34, and the low of 31. Their rating basically is 16 buys, one outperform, and, and three holds. Now, if you are interested, again, the reporting date is on August 4. That's when uh, they'll do the earnings and sell forecast. Now, if we take a look at Weeble, based on Weeble, uh, 21 of their analysis rated it as a buy. 38% uh, 30, said it was a strong buy. 42% said it's a buy. 19% said it's a hold. Now, looking at their price target, based on the price target, you got a high of 45, the average of 34, and then the low of 31. Now, um, again, if you are ready to start your investing journey, uh, Weeble is a great platform that you can uh, use. Um, if you use my link down into the comments, you get free stocks and I get free stocks. So you definitely want to check that out uh, if you want free stocks. So the link is on the comment section. All right. Now taking a look at the institutional holdings, you can see 175 increase, 96 are new. 129 have decreased and 40 are sold out. Now let's take a look at bar chart. Uh, their price target is in the 47. The mean is 34 and the low is 25 with the analysis rating of currently, which is a strong buy based on 14 analysis. So I like seeing more of these kinds with numbers that are just like, well, I don't like really seeing it one. You know, it's always good to see more than one. So in this case, you see about 14. So that's that's good to see that kind of number. Uh, three months ago, it is a strong buy. So you can see from the chart, it's been a strong buy the past 
three months. Now looking at the rating breakdown, you can see it's been a, about three holds, 11 strong buy. It's been like that the past three months. One hold, one moderate buy, and then you got 11 strong buy. You got one hold, one moderate buy, and 11 strong buy. Now let's take a look at Sim, Simple Wall Street. As you can see, based on their analysis of valuation, they rated this is uh, based on the share price versus the fair price. It is uh, undervalued. So their fair value is around at the 60. Their current price tag is at the 31. Now, if we look at Simply Safe Dividend, based on their dividend safety score, they rated it as a 50, which is borderline safe. Uh, the dividend yield is 4.14. Again, the market cap is 17 billion. Now, if we look down to the key metrics, you can see the payout ratio is about 40, I mean, 74 percent. Um, now, if we look at the dividend growth, the past, the, the latest is 11 percent in September, which is uh, 20, which is fast. Now, two years of consecutive increases and uninterrupted is two years. Now you're going to get paid quarterly for this one. You got January, April, July, and October. Annual payout will be a dollar and thirty-two. Um, X dividend is twenty-third of June, and then you get your payout in uh, August eight. All right. Now second on the list is MGM Growth Properties. Ticker symbol is MGP. Now this is another real estate investment trust that invests in large-scale destination entertainment and leisure resorts. Now, if you go to their website, uh, you can see some of the latest news. You can see as of June 15, 2021, they have increased quarterly dividends to an annual rate of $2 per share. So very interesting. Uh, that's exciting in my opinion. Now, if we look at tip ranks, based on tip ranks, the, the time of this video is at 36 with the price target of $39 with a 7% 7, 7 upside. Their 12 month forecast rated as a high of 43, uh, a target, uh, uh, annual average target of 39. Then you got your low price target of 38. Now, based on their rating, they have this as a moderate buy. Based on eight analysis, you got five buys, two holds, and one sell. Now looking at CNN Business, their forecast uh, rated as the high of 43, the mean of 39, and the low of 36 with the analysis recommendation of 10 buys, 2 outperforms, 4, four holds, and 1 underperform. Now Webull, based on their rating, there was 18 of them, they rated also as a buy. Uh, you got 16% said it's a strong buy. Uh, a buy of 55%, a hold of 30, uh, 22, underperform of 5. Now, their price target is in the high of 43, the average of 38, and the low of 36. Now, if we look at bar chart, their price target is pretty similar with the high of 43, the mean of 38, and then the low of 31, with their analysis rating of moderate buy based on 10 analysis so it was a strong buy three months ago actually two months ago which is a strong buy based on 11 analysis based on 12 a month ago it was it then it went down to moderate buy now looking at the breakdown you can see at the current based on the 10 you got one sell two holds one moderate buy and then you got six strong buys so uh pretty solid strong buy the past two months one moderate buy and then currently right now it's a moderate buy. Now looking at simply Wall Street, based on their evaluation, the uh, share price versus fair price, this is a undervalued one. So currently it's at the time of this video, it's at 36 and the fair value is at $58. So it is still considered uh, undervalued based on them. Uh, now looking at simply safe dividend, Based on their dividend safety score, they rate it as a 50, which is borderline safe. The dividend yield is 5.58, with a market cap of 5.66 billion. Looking at the key metrics, you can see payout ratio would be 
which is uh, which is high for a tail reach yeah and then looking at the dividend growth it has been slow uh, dividend growth streaks of only four years of increases and undergraduate which is four years without a reduction so your payout schedule again will be quarterly January April July October the annual payout would be two dollars and six cents your ex dividend is in June 29 and your payout is at July 15 the last on the list it is store cap uh, capital ticker symbol is SDOR uh, I like this company this is one of my favorite ones this is a company that operates as an internally managed net lease real estate investment trust now if we look at the uh, the tenant profile you can see percentage of total rent and interest you got all these revenue distribution now look at these uh, tenant metrics so 70, 73% of customers have revenue over 50 million weighted average tenant revenues of 850 million um, 2019 tenant growth of 12% employ they employ about 2.5 workers operation is about 36,000 locations in 50 states repeated customers of one third of the new businesses so solid solid company in my opinion now who are these guys as you can see you got companies like Ashley furniture camping world and you got this uh, schools yeah so those are just some of the many tenants of this company now looking at C uh, tip ranks at the time of this video it is at 35 with the price target of 36 a 1% upside 12 month forecast rated as a high of 39 average of 36 and the low of 32 they rated as a moderate buy based on seven ratings two buys and five holds now if we look at cnn business pretty similar the high of 41 37 is the medium and low is 33 their rating is about five buys two outperforms and nine holds now cnn a uh, weeble based on 16 analysis they rated as a buy 12 percent said it was a strong buy 31 says it's a buy and the hold would be about 56 percent now their target is pretty similar 41 is the high 36 is the average and then 33 is the low now if we look down to bar chart again pretty similar price targets 41 35 and then 30 their analysis rated as currently as a moderate buy based on 12 analysis three months ago it's pretty much the same you can see two months one month it's still been the moderate buy now looking at the breakdown you can see six hold five strong buys and one moderate buy now if we look at simple simply wall street based on their share price and value fair value it is an undervalued uh, company based on their their evaluation uh, their fair value look at it about $67 currently is at 35 um, looking at simply safe dividend you got your dividend safety score of 70 which is safe dividend yield is about four percent market gap is about nine billion now if we look down to the key metrics you can see 79 percent would be the payout ratio looking at the dividend growth the last five years it's been six percent which is average now looking at if you look at the dividend growth streaks of six years of consecutive increases uninterrupted is pretty much the same your payout schedule will be quarterly which is january april july and october annual payout of about 144 ex dividend date is at june 29 and then you get your payout of july 15. so all right guys that's the three uh real estate uh stocks definitely uh put that in your watch list uh hope you like this video if you do give it a thumbs up if you're not yet a subscriber definitely subscribe don't forget to hit that like button hit that notification bell uh, as always please remember to do your own due diligence on your own research 
With that said, I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, please be safe out there. And definitely stay cool and keep investing, guys. And I'll catch you guys on the next video, right? Take care. Aloha.